Well, it's 7.15 about. Got my uh, pack ready. I'm just going to put my uh, rain kilt on. I'm going to go without the raincoat. It's still raining. It rained all night. It got pretty slow at one point, but uh, yeah. Everything is wet uh, outside. Shelter is good, and that uh, was in here with Pop, who I've uh, met before, talked about. We're just having a spiritual talk for 15 minutes there. And uh, also the other guy who showed up, he's doing southbound. He left at the middle of June uh, from Katahdin. And he's doing about 20 miles a day, he says. And he was the guy who worked at one of the outfitters, I think in Daleville, that I uh, met a couple times. I remember sitting in the Wendy's having a half price small frosty a couple times, uploading videos and staying at a uh, motel up the road that had the waffle maker that the top and bottom half stuck to the uh, uh, heating element. So I remember that. He, he looked familiar and I thought, he said he used to work at an outfitter. I thought, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember meeting you. Anyway. And I guess the rain's picking up now. <laughs> I've talked. I've uh, totally drank a whole liter of water with electrolytes and uh, about a half liter earlier. So I'm going to have to fill up in the uh, stream here. I put some Aquamira in the bottle so I don't have to worry about filtering it. Uh, I collected rainwater yesterday and that's what I was drinking. Had a little bit of leafy debris in it, but that was okay. Um, it's going to be pretty hilly today. Up and down, up and down, up and down. And uh, I guess once I get out there and walking with the pack on, I don't know, I'm still thinking maybe I should put the raincoat on. But it's not cold. You just naturally want to have a raincoat on. And, uh, but I'll be so sweaty. Ugh. Ugh. No. Anyway, um, like I say, I got to put the rain kilt on anyway. I'll do that. And I guess I'll start walking. Don't know how far I'll go. 16 mile, 21 mile, anyway, to your shelter. But uh, tomorrow's supposed to be sunny, so I'm expecting that somehow the rain is going to stop at some point today. I was surprised that it ran all night. I thought today was going to be like yesterday and it didn't rain until near the end yesterday and it's really coming down now I even thought about zeroing here just to avoid it completely because it's kind of nice just laying there in the mat thinking how I'm dry comfortable I've got my food but I'm going to make progress now I've got to do it in the rain I'm sure once I'm going I'll be okay <laughs> Decisions, decisions. Put the raincoat on or don't put the raincoat on. Yes, I'll go without. Pretty sure. I, I should. Should go without. But, uh, yeah, I just have to go back up the trail. They say fill up the water bottle and continue. I don't want to have to, but. It's kind of miserable weather. You can see the raindrops. I wasn't doing that uh, half an hour ago. Almost dry. Uh, this is going to be the bad day of hiking. But it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow. That's what the weather report said. I really hope it's right. Sunny for a few days. Don't have data. Here, so I I can't uh, double check and I'm sure by the time I uh, get going the phone curve will be wet I won't be able to operate it and that's just a real lull so uh, you won't be seeing a whole lot of video maybe I'll just record as I walk out here that'll be the, the walk of the day uh, can you tell I don't want to do this 
I don't want to do this. Okay, I got everything on. Time to go. 7:30. Time for wasting. Okay, here's the walk. Stopped raining a fair while ago. Fortunately, the uh, screen is wet when it's inside the uh, side pocket here, so I was able to get it dry enough to take a short little video of that nice waterfall. All the water sources are brimming, so there's no problem with the water, that's for sure. Uh, just everything feels damp. Just not feeling highly motivated to move fast. Well, it's not safe, I guess. And it's hilly. I'm going constantly up or down. And uh, I'm not exactly sure how far the nearest shelter is. Oh, I'm clearing the paths of uh, fallen debris that people ahead of me didn't clear and I just to be nice to the people behind me you know a limb or things like that oh. breathing heavy a lot I think I should probably listen to a podcast just uh, a little bored attitude I think Yeah, I think I'll do that. So, oh, here's another nice waterfall. Years ago, Rudy 
talking about a guy who was walking the Appalachian Trail and he saw this wrist rock and uh, he made his own way down there and I can't remember the name of the truck but uh, it's a famous American truck and I guess uh, there was a team doing some testing and stuff like that and I just thought gee I'd like to see that one day I wonder if I'll ever walk the Appalachian Trail and sure enough here I am I can see a car going around the, a wet circle there trying to spin out and every now and then a train of uh, race cars where they kind of go through there now around that corner so there's some boarding event happening today it's Tuesday 22nd oh about uh, an hour and a half ago I passed uh, the shelter I didn't bother to stop and look at it I just kept going thinking okay I think I have I don't know how many more miles to go to the next one but uh, it'll be like 5.30 o'clock at least when I get there. At one point I'm eating some mixed nuts from my uh, snack bag and I was zipping them up with the one hand and holding one of the other poles with my other hand and I happened to glance down to see if there was any water at, uh, on the stream because I need to get some more water and end up uh, stepping on a flat rock on an angle and slope and uh, I don't know if you can see there a bend in my pole straighten out a little bit but uh, I guess I landed on it didn't hurt anything other than that but uh, it's a pain I'll have to try to straighten out a little bit later a little thirsty I know they need to get to uh, a stream soon I've got uh, Less than a liter. I need to drink a, take a big drink too. Uh, every now and then it's misted, but even the sun has popped out every now and then. But uh, unfortunately, it's not great weather. So I'm gonna sit down for a minute, check the uh, map, see how much further I've got, and. Uh, yeah, check for a water source. Talk to you later. Just checked uh, on the map too, and apparently that's Lime Rock Speedway, which I'd heard of. So I'm not going down though. <laughs> and water is a, uh, the next water source is about an hour away. So a little bit of a walk. get to the big hill. Don't slow me down. I just have not really enjoyed today. I mean, yeah, yeah, I fell. I didn't hurt. I bent my pole. <laughs> not too happy about that. It was raining in the beginning. Yeah, set the day off for them. But I've had so little interaction with other people. And haven't really seen much that I felt very interested in. My feet don't necessarily hurt. 
too hard drawing a little bit. I look down on them, but uh, eh, I'm just not into today. And uh, here's the beginning of the uphill. So more not to enjoy, perhaps. <laughs> Talk to you later. Pike, Pike Carrier. Pike right? Carrier. Pike Carrier from Grand Haven, Michigan. <laughs> he knew to St. Marie, so he carries a yeah. hockey stick for a walking stick. Yeah, a walking stick. Walking stick, and it's making dinner. Anyway, there you go. Made uh, some milk, and I threw some hot chocolate powder in there, and, and these little cookies. Just turned my day around. <laughs> <laughs> now you're making ramen with tuna? Ramen with, uh, yeah, extra virgin olive oil and dry, sun dried tomato. Okay. Tuna. Ooh. Ramen, so. Makes ramen worth eating, even. <laughs> <laughs> Point two miles, we're at mile fifteen hundred. Oh, that's big. Well, that's cool. And then you said you're not going into Salisbury, but well, here I am in my tent in the shelter again. The baby, the baby bag. It's a little after eight, getting dark. Um, yeah, so uh, my guy, um, Puck Carrier, really, really nice guy. <laughs> a good conversation with him about uh, work and stuff like that. Get some milk powder, gave some to me, and I added some of the hot chocolate powder I had to it. And it's like having chocolate milk. It was so good. <sighs> so he recommended uh, getting the milk in the skin ethnic section, a uh, small can made in Mexico, smaller than the uh, stuff that you typically get, uh, bags of milk, uh, which has been part of the problem, I didn't ever want to get a big bag like that, so I'll look for that next time I'm in an ethnic section, uh, and he gave me some cookies, I think they were great with it, and uh, made a nice end to a day where I was really kind of like, eh, I just... Not into it. I don't know. I don't think it was the podcast I was listening to either. They were interesting enough. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't like there was much of any view. I mean, there was a little bit of waterfall on, on the bridge. And uh, up higher, there was more, but I didn't have to work to get real view of it. I didn't really care. And then at the top of the hill, right before the shelter, I bumped into uh, uh, Puck Gary, and he was talking about Pop, and oh, he saw him on the trail and he was kind of looking down and phone wasn't working very well and he uh, gave a call to the guy at the hostel he was at the night before which is when I was kind of considering myself at one point about maybe calling but I didn't and well, I kind of regret but anyway I'm here I made the 21 point whatever miles and uh, so Pop is there behind me and uh, you know, walking down to that shelter is half a mile, but boy, it's a steep downhill, and so I got that nice climb to go tomorrow morning when I finally get going. But it's supposed to be a nice day, so it should be good. I'll have to consult a hook to see what, how far the next one It's probably another 20 mile day, or something like that, uh, to get close to uh, the town I want to go to. Um, uh, Puck here was mentioning about that town we're going to be walking, oh, I think, just a quarter mile from. So I might actually uh, make a walk into it and just see if there's a, well, depending on the time, you know, for coffee or a snack to eat or something like that at a um, restaurant or deli or something like that. I'll have to check out the uh, services and maybe get some powdered milk. I don't that it'll be available there, though. And, uh, Anyway, yeah, so that's the end of tonight, and I hope tomorrow I'm uh, feeling better. Finally just got my shoes off, and uh, usually I like to be laying down before this, but didn't get into uh, the council here until 6.30, 7-ish, so a lot later than normal. Uh, I guess we should take a few breaks here and there along the way, just kind of boredom or... Not sure what I wanted to do, but that's the problem when you don't have a plan and you don't have someone to plan with. You kind of uh, play by ear and 
Yeah, I'm taking the the quick way out. I should have probably gone to that shelter. It's like 40 bucks for the night. And I had Wi-Fi, so I could have uploaded something, charged my battery up again. I still could have gone to the, the next town that I'm looking to go to and uh, stay a night or even two. Now that we're meeting uh, southbound people, you know, um, shelters will possibly start uh, being more popular again. Um, I'm not sure how many people are really southbounding, but uh, anyway. Okay, that's it. I'll talk to you tomorrow.